According to a source, Donovan Hill has died at age 18. Hill was the California teenager who led to increased safety protections and regulations for young football players after an injury left him paralyzed. In 2011, Hill's story became national news when the 13-year-old fractured his spine during a Pop Warner Championship game in Laguna Hills, California. In a 2014 lawsuit against the Youth League, Hill and his mother, Crystal Dixon, claimed that the teen used a dangerous head-first tackling technique taught by his coaches, which subsequently led to his paralysis. I remember I was on the bed and they was like saying, they were seeing what I could feel or not. I was like, can you feel this? Can you feel that? And I kept saying no. Doctors confirmed what everyone feared. Donovan's neck was broken. He was paralyzed from the neck down. A closer look at the play reveals what happened. Donovan led with his head when making the tackle. Worse yet, his head was down. Was this something Donovan did a lot, putting his head down? Unfortunately, um, yeah. Donovan was our player that just seemed to come in a lot like that. And I'll be honest, I would say things like, you know, you keep hitting like that, you're going to end up in a damn wheelchair. Throughout the season, Donovan consistently led with his head when trying to make a tackle, a dangerous technique banned by Pop Warner and other organizations all the way up to the NFL. Where did you learn that technique? Um, coach it. Your coaches? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, which coach? Uh, I don't know if there's only one. Um, head, mostly my head coach, Sal. The head coach, Sal Hernandez. Yes. And what did you think of that technique? Did you have any concerns about it? Yes. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Did you express those concerns? Yeah. I told him that this is not the right way you hit. The right way to hit, according to Pop Warner's online training course, is to keep the head up to the outside of an opponent's body before making contact. Hernandez denies teaching bad technique. I can't imagine a coach ever telling his kid, go out there and spear him. Right. Hit him with your head down. That's football 101. Keep your head up. But Pop Warner rules ban not just spearing, launching at an opponent with the top of the helmet. They also ban face tackling with the forehead, a technique that Hernandez and his coaches did promote. Donovan says he raised his concerns about head-first tackling in a one-on-one -on -one hitting drill early last season when a teammate used his head as a weapon. I told the coach that I'm going to get hurt like this. Like, I don't want to. This is not the right thing to do. And they just told me to, like, stop whining. And they sent me to the back. Do you recall that situation? No. At all? No. You don't recall any situation where, where a kid was leading with his head and Donovan complained and you said, Donovan, stop complaining? No, I don't, I don't recall a conversation like that happening. Coach Sal said he didn't remember that particular situation and wasn't sure if he was there. Yeah, he was. He was there? Yeah. And he was yelling at, mm -hmm. at Donovan? Yeah. And what was Coach Sal telling, telling Donovan? Same thing as all the coaches, get back in line, stop being scared. Assistant coach Manny Martinez confirmed the incident. I know the exact moment. We have this kid, he goes in to hit Donovan, and Donovan kind of backs out. And we're saying, what are you doing? Go hit, you, there's your hitting drills, you gotta go. And he's saying he's hitting with his head. He's like, no, he's not hitting with his head, he's hitting with his forehead, that's kind of where you're supposed to hit if you're going head up. And after that, I just started hitting with my head, cause I, that's what they told me to do. As a head coach, Hernandez was required to pass Pop Warner's online training course. Assistant coaches like Martinez aren't even required to review the materials, and he says he never did. So how do you know about tackling? I've been playing since I was 10 years old. But how do you know what is truly the right way versus what you've learned in the past if you haven't taken the test and learned the curriculum? I couldn't say. I mean, I only know what I've been taught. I've been taught, and like I said, I, I think it's the right way. It's the right way to do it because I've never been injured and I played my whole life. Ready? Wait. Okay. Now, this is Donovan's life. A medical bed in the apartment he shares with his aunt and his mother and a wheelchair 
where everyday life has become a struggle. Pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. Already, Donovan's rehab and medical bills have topped $2 million. We need to elongate your arms, remember? You don't want your arms stuck in that position, okay? Find that center of mass for me. Hurts? His mother's insurance through the grocery store where she works covers 80%, leaving her hundreds of thousands in debt with no end in sight. I have no idea how I'm going to pay that. I have no idea what's going to happen to my baby when he's 18 and of age. Who's going to help him? Who, where, where is it going to come from? It breaks my heart. It, it hurts. It makes me angry. So who bears responsibility for what happened to you? The people that taught me how to hit this way. Your coaches? Yes. What emotions do you have for your coaches? Um, I still love all my coaches. Still love them? Yeah, all my coaches, yes. He said, yeah, I still love my coaches. How does it make you feel? I love them. And I, and I miss him. What would you like others to learn from your situation? Do what you think is the best and never be pressured into doing something. You know that isn't right. In today's football climate, coaches not only have to be concerned about protecting their players from brain, neck, and spinal cord injuries, they also have to be concerned about protecting themselves from litigation that results from those types of injuries. With the recent uh, out-of-court settlements of National Pop Warner for the suicide of a 25-year-old former Pop Warner player and the out-of-court settlement for the paralysis uh, suffered by Donovan Hill, is a clear indication that courts are now aware of what injurious instruction is and what is not injurious instruction is. So you as a coach have to protect, like I said, not only your players, but you have to protect your family, your home, and anything that you have of value from potentially being taken from you as a result of a lawsuit. That's why you need a standard of care to protect you. That's what my Helmet Free Tackle Safety and Performance Training Course will give you, a personal standard of care for identifying, eliminating, and replacing the physical mechanisms, tackling terminology, tackling drills, and tackling techniques that lead directly to crown first impact or exposing their helmet to contact while they're in the act of making a tackle. Anytime you put your head and your, and your, and your rear end on the same level, you're exposing your crown. So this is what you have to be aware of as a coach uh, to protect yourself and your players.